question, we're going to integrate 3x plus 1 raised to the power of 5 with respect to x. So the steps that you need to follow when integrating an expression of this form here are to increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, and divide by the coefficient of x. So when I say the coefficient of x, I mean inside the brackets here, the coefficient of x would be 3, is the number that's being multiplied with x, okay? So the part inside the brackets remains the same, so I'm going to start by writing that out again over here, so 3x plus 1. And remember I said the first step is to increase the power by 1, so 5 plus 1 is 6, so that would be the new power. Next, we have to divide by that new power, okay, so we're going to divide by, by 6, so that's the same as multiplying by 1 sixth, and we also need to divide by that coefficient of x, so 3, okay, so if you're dividing by 3, it's the same thing as timesing by a third, okay, so you can write it like that, okay, so I increase the power by 1, I divide it by the new power, and I divide it by the coefficient of x. Not forgetting also to add your constant of integration, c, and then you need to simplify, okay? So 6 multiplied by 3 is 18, so the final answer is 1 18 multiplied with 3x plus 1 raised to the power of 6 plus c. In this question, we have to find the integral of the cube root of 5 minus 4x with respect to x. Now, before we integrate, it's a good idea to just rewrite the question in its power form first. Remember, when you're cube rooting, it's the same thing as raising to the power of a third. Okay, so if I rewrite the question, we're finding the integral of 5 minus 4x raised to the power of a third with respect to x. Okay, so it's exactly the same thing. I'm just writing the question in power form. So remember, the part inside the brackets remains the same, so I'm just going to start by writing that out down here, 5 minus 4x, and the first step is to increase the power by 1, so a third plus 1 is 1 and a third. Now if I write that as a top heavy or improper fraction, it's the same thing as 4 thirds. Step number two is to divide by that new power, so we're going to divide by 4 thirds, which is the same thing as 1 over 4 thirds, and thirdly, divide by the coefficient of x, so in this question it would be negative 4, okay, so that's the same thing as multiplying by negative a quarter, okay, not forgetting to add your constant of integration c. So all that's left now is to simplify, okay, I can just multiply these together here, 4 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 16, and if you are dividing 1 by negative 16 over 3, and I'm just going to write over here, this is what we're doing, it's the same thing as multiplying 1 by this fraction switched upside down, okay? So it's 1 multiplied by negative 3 over 16. Let's draw that separately, okay? And so if you're timesing those together, it simplifies to negative 3 over 16, okay, so that's what happens when you just simplify that fraction at the front, okay? So the final answer is negative 3 over 16, the brackets stay the same, power is 4 thirds, and we're adding C. So in this question we have to find the integral of 5 divided by 4, bracket 7 minus 2x raised to the power 5, with respect to x, okay? So just like previously, the first thing you should do is rewrite the question in its power form, okay? So if I do that, we're finding the integral of 5 quarters, bracket 7 minus 2x, raised to the power of negative 5, with respect to x, okay? So remember, the brackets remain the same, so I'm going to start by rewriting those down below, so 7 minus 2x. And the first step is to increase the power by 1. So negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4, so there's the first step. Now we have to divide by the new power, so we're dividing by negative 4. So take the number that's already in front of the brackets, 5 quarters, and divide it by negative 4. Okay? And thirdly, you have to divide by the coefficient of x. So in this question, the coefficient of x is negative 2. So we have to divide by negative 2 as well, okay? 
not forgetting to add your constant of integration C, okay? So to get full marks, you have to simplify all the way until the end. So you can just simplify the denominator. Negative four multiplied by negative two is positive eight. Okay, so you can write eight underneath instead. And then you need to work out five quarters divided by eight. Okay, so I'm just going to write it down over here. Okay, so five quarters divided by eight is the same thing as five quarters multiplied by one eighth. Okay, so if I times the numerators together, five multiplied by one is five. And if I times the denominators together, four multiplied by eight is 32, okay? So when you simplify and divide here, you get five over 32, okay? So the final answer is five over 32, inside the bracket, seven minus two x, raised to the power of negative four plus c.